Well, here we are live and I'm getting ready to go swimming and I wanted to share that moment with you because the water is really freezing and I do this for my health sake. It is something that I do that makes me very healthy. Um, when you can go into ice cold water like this, this water comes from under the dam and it comes from snow, Shasta, Shasta Dam. And of course, you can see here, walking down in my slippers, we have ducks here. Water's very clear. And, uh, I, you know, it's, I think it's 40, 46 or somewhere around that degrees. If anyone knows the temperature of, of the river, Sacramento River, just below Shasta Dam, please let me know. I could maybe Google it. July. I don't know. Anyway, I put my head under. I um, need my tripod. What I'll do is I'll, I'll do a, do a close-up here so you can see my face and my expression and everything. My feet are in. My feet are in. Up to my knees. And it's cold. Tell you what. It's cold. What I've always done... I was a kid was I like to I'm gonna put this on record here again you know we lift weights you know isolate different muscles to get them stronger by lifting weight you subject these muscles and your bones to weight or tension or pressure and sometimes they have you know bungee cords stuff like that um, or the bow if you remember that one that makes things stronger in your body what about the mind? What about your ability to say no to things? Say no to drugs, of course, um, that's obvious, but what about say no to, to caffeine or nicotine or what about junk food, sugar? It takes willpower. And one of the ways we can develop willpower and strength to do the right thing, I believe, is by putting ourselves in situations that aren't really comfortable but smiling through it and coming through it with courage and with, with strength and with, you know, giving God the glory and the credit, right? Um, it's him that keeps us alive. He's the one that created us. He gets all the honor and glory and praise for these things. And so that's one of the reasons I do this. So when I was younger, I used to go in cold water and a lot of people go, <gasps> and they hyperventilate almost. I don't do that. I do it like this. Beautiful ducks. And yeah, there's a shocking sensation. I feel like a extra blood to my head or less blood. <laughs> a bit, a bit uh, weak, um, but also energized at the same time. All I can say is, I used to do this with a guy, Phil Toth, beautiful young man, he was a surfer and so energetic, but he got uh, multiple sclerosis or alateral sclerosis or something like that. And when he came to me, I was his assistant coach, health coach and caregiver. And so we'd go to the creek and I would carry him and hold him and hold his arms and I'd put him in that cold water and he would go <gasps> and you know we were trying to wake up those nerves. I can do this in ice water. I can cut the ice and go in it and do this. I'll tell you, I'm going to get out now. I could stay in longer, but I'm going to get out because I have things to do. And I want to share this with you that this is very 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 invigorating. Cold water. What it does is the blood rushes to the surface of the skin. The pores close, and it thinks that there's a crisis. Uh, your T cells are stimulated, and it can it can trigger things within your body that strengthen and build and push the the immune system to keep you healthy and uh, and well. And during these times of COVID, if you want to call it that, um, COVID nineteen, 
whatever you have, pneumonia um, or anything else, or just the flu. I did notice the flu shots are actually available in stores. Uh, it's good to have a strong immune system. All right, well, I'm going to go in the, in the truck here, and I'm going to look at the comments. I'm looking for my glasses. I can't seem to find them right now. Um, it's kind of hot, actually. But it's not as hot as it was earlier in the summer. I'm going to see if there's any messages from anyone so I can say hi to you. See if I have anyone viewing. And uh, go from there. Let's see here. Say hi to me if you're watching. I would like that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Anyone there? Anyone watching? I don't see any. Two people. Well, I hope uh, the second one can go back and watch what I did. I think uh, otherwise you're not going to see anything. You're going to miss it all. Um... And so, no one's talking? Okay, well. And they left. So, whoever's watching, God bless you. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.